Now let's try to take a look at chlorine. So chlorine has an electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p5. Now this valence shell uh, is short of one electron and it wants to accept uh, one more electron so that it can be filled. So if this is our chlorine atom, it wants to accept, it says, hey, I want one more electron so that uh, my valence electron will be filled. So uh, in terms of the potentials we have discussed, kinds of potentials we have discussed earlier, it behaves like it wants to attract uh, an electron so it we can analyze it using attractive potentials so say uh, this is our uh, electron far away from chlorine so uh, by far away I mean that R is very large and the potential energy felt by this electron is zero. So for ex in our example, it is like uh, this is our electron with minus charge and uh, this is not actually a positive charge but you can think of it like uh, it wants to attract that electron. So, uh, going back, this electron uh, with large R far apart from chlorine needs an input of a certain energy so that it can be bounded inside the chlorine atom. So, it needs a certain amount of energy and that energy specifically is 3 point minus sorry minus 3.6 electron volts so uh, recall previously that negative potential energies mean that uh, the particle is bound inside the potential it is trapped inside the potential so in order for this electron to go inside this chlorine atom it needs minus 3.6 electron volts so this is called the electron affinity it is negative because it wants to be bound it wants to be bounded uh, inside the atom contrary to, to what, what we observe in sodium atoms, this electron wants to escape, so it wants to be ionized. For the chlorine atom, it wants to be bounded. So that's why we need negative 3.6 electron volts. So now, if this electron were to go inside chlorine, so chlor our chlorine atom will be negative 3.6 